Hi, everyone, and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. The following is an excerpt from our webinar on what is new in AutoCAD 2024. Please do not hesitate to drop us a line should you have any questions. Enjoy our presentation. Have a great day. And now we are coming to the File and Paper Space tab improvements. Drawing tab improvements. And the new tab allows for quicker access to multiple commands, including start and close. But there's a caveat there. We're going to look at that. We also have a paper space tab improvements, which are actually super exciting because it, it, you don't no longer have to do that workflow that we had before, create the layout and then go ahead and, and assign whatever it is that you want to assign to that layout. Okay, it, it is now a little bit different through the use of a new tab, which we're going to look at in a moment. So now that we know what we're going to look at, let's switch over to the AutoCADs. And let's go ahead and open. Let's go ahead into our list of drawings. Here is our drawing tabs. Tab improvements. And for this, let's go ahead and close this. The new tabs that we are talking about are going to be these little stack, or I'm going to call them little pancake stacks here and down here. So we have a pancake st uh, stack at the top, and we have a pancake stack at the bottom where the model uh, tabs are. Okay. In the, uh, I'm going to call these file tabs up here. We have this, and so by selecting it, it gives us what we can do with this. The very first section here, this particular panel at the top, is going to show you the amount of tabs that you have opened with the GWG names as they appear. That's what this is. You'll notice start this open. There it is. Tab improvements. There it is. We, we're I, I, here to actually create new ones that would appear there. You see that if I delete it, it no longer appears. So that's what this is. This is the, all of your current open tabs. That's what it's going to list you. In this section in here, the plus sign is like hitting this plus sign here. It's the same thing. But if you go to new, in new, it allows you to select the specific template that you want to use for the particular drawing that you were going to start. Okay, so that's what this is doing. Okay, if I actually go to the plus, it goes ahead and gives you the default uh, template that you're using according to your options on your AutoCAD options. Okay, that's what this, that's how this is working. If we go to open, obviously it's going to go ahead and give us the dialog box for open. But more interestingly for me anyway, is at the bottom here, it says save all and close all. You see that? Now it's interesting because you would expect it to say save and, and it would be saving the current particular drawing that you're working on, but it doesn't. It says save all or close all. So whatever amount of, of um, drawings that you have open, you can save them all or you can close them all, but you can't close them or save them individually. You have to actually go to each one of them individually and do that, okay? So that's what this is really doing for you. Moving forward uh, on the tabs here, let's go ahead and take a look at the tabs at the bottom. Now, you guys remember that you for for you to go ahead and access the, the um, configuration of your tabs here, you would have to actually select it, right click it, and go and do whatever it is that you want here. Okay, well, this, you don't lo no longer have to do that, okay? You can actually come in here and it's gonna give you very much the same list, okay? So now that we're here, one list, why don't we go ahead and take a look at what's happening here. We'll start from the top and we'll go down to the bottom here. In the very first one, it's like hitting the plus sign here. So this plus sign and that plus sign is basically the same. It's gonna go ahead and allow you to create a new layout default. But are you forced to take that? Can you actually go ahead and grab it from somewhere else? Well, actually, yes, you can. How do you do that? You go to from template here. And in from template, it allows you to select the template that you want to use, which you will be actually pulling the layouts from. Let's go ahead and select the architectural imperial here and say open. 
and there it is. You see that? This is the one that is here. If I select this one and say, okay, it's going to appear down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And sure enough, there it is. Okay. It's actually pulling that tab inclusive of the blocks that are resident on the tab itself. Okay. Or, or the view itself. Just so you understand that, that's what really happened here. Once again, you can select it and delete it if you so wish from this list like that. It will say OK and go ahead and delete it. We can delete number two also, same way. Get rid of it if you want to. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other options that we do have here. If we open this up, we have the Page Setup Manager. That's very much like the one that we find here in the right click. When we have Select All Layouts and look at this, Publish Selected Layouts is grayed out. So why don't we investigate and see why this Publish Selected Layouts is grayed out? Well. Gentlemen and ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to go ahead and add one. I, I didn't realize that I deleted that layout, and it's, it's, it's important for the explanation that we're actually going to be looking at. If I select a single one like this, right? If I come over here, notice that that published selected layout is an, oh, wait a minute, it's layouts. You see that? So it's, it's I'm, I'm, I know I'm being a little bit uh, funny about this, but the truth is it's, it's actually Perl. And, and so it should give you an idea that if you select one and then select the other, now you have two rather than one, it's plural. So when you come over here to the tab, look at that, publish selected layouts is open or rather available. If you select it, basically you're going to get your published dialog box and then you go ahead and arrange this accordingly. Okay, guys, I hope, I hope that was really nice. It's a really nice little addition, okay? Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at this section in here, which duck above status bar or duck online with status bar. This down here being the status bar. So if I go ahead and say duck above status bar, that's where it is. But if I want to duck along the line, it's going to move this to this area here. Just like I said, okay? You can go ahead and do a reverse on that and bring it back to where it was. And once again, if I look at the very last panel here, it's telling me the amount of uh, um, paper space um, uh, areas I have. And really that's what it's, it's showing. It's very much the same as the one that we saw up here, except we're talking about the actual paper space tabs. That's really what it's talking about, okay? And so with that, we have now seen the improvements to the drawing tabs and the improvements to the paper space uh, tabs.